Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts, and today I want to show you three really super quick cards I made using the most wonderful time uh, product medley. I only have the refill in the um, mini catalog that's out right now for the Christmas season. On page seven, there's this whole uh, medley, product medley. It has designer series paper and specialty uh, sheets and there's a stamp set and dies, embellishments, all of that, stickers. I only have the refill kit. So the refill kit has um, some of these gold stars and it has some of this smaller paper that is gold. It's one-sided, but they're really pretty. And then this, oh, well, let me show you the stickers. Sorry about the dog barking. So there's stickers that come, candy canes and um, labels and different embellishments. There's the trees and the stars and the deer. And I used some of them. I didn't use all of them. And then you have this beautiful paper. It has gold foiling. It's got the deer. You get eight sheets of each and it's double sided. And you have this, all this pretty gold candy canes, the trees, the presents, and then the other side is not gold um, foil. And it's, there's no accents on it, but it's really beautiful. So I made three cards. I will make a lot more. I just figured I would show you how to make three simple cards um, using the designer series paper, the stickers. Um, I did cut ovals out of this paper. I didn't use the stars, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, Let's get started. It's very simple. So this is the first one, and it's funny because I looked at it and I thought it was garden green, but it's actually old olive. So this one is in garden green, and I'll make this one in old olive. So I have my card base. I cut a piece of this designer series paper, and then I have a gold, um, and let me just show you. I have gold layering oval with the scalloped and I cut the smaller one right out of the middle so I wouldn't have to waste another piece because it'll be covered up and then I'm using the regular laying, layering ovals. So these all come together. These are great. They have ovals, circles, and squares and they're really awesome to have. So I will just be putting this together. Um, not pretty, this, the candy canes. I, I have to do one with the candy canes because there's some great candy cane stickers. So let's just put a little bit of glue on the back of this and this will go together so easy it's really and I love these trees it's so pretty so we just want to get these all together I will stamp my sentiment now the sentiments I took from different this is from itty bitty Christmas and I used a few of the sentiments. Actually, I have it mounted. So let's do that with the old olive. On the smallest, this is the smallest layering um, oval. Oops, don't want that in there. And it says, Happy Christmas. And let's do the inside. So on the inside, I have lots of love at Christmas, and then I have a tree from the Perfectly Plaid. But you can use you can use a sticker on this if you want it on the inside, which I did on some of the cards. So let's get this inside done. Lots of love at Christmas. I like this the way it kind of swoops. Okay. And we want to do then a tree. So I have the tree also. I think I have to um, ink up my ink pad here. Add some ink to it. It seems like it's a very light color. Okay. So let's get this closed up and put away. And now we can put our card together. So I have... Um, Oops, I'll put this on first. Okay, so I'll just put some glue around here. And you can put ribbon on this if you had gold ribbon. I don't have any gold ribbon for some reason. I'm not sure why. 
there's some nice trim in the actually the melody medley um, that almost looks like um, what am I thinking of the tinsel that you would put on your tree it's kind of like that thing so this will go here oh I forgot the sticker we need to put the sticker on let me get the stickers that would be smart right and I actually cut the bottom of it, so this might be a little bit difficult. I should have put the tree on first. So I took one of the bigger trees, and these are really nice stickers. They're kind of um, very kind of solid and thick. So I actually put it on the bottom, and then I cut it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that here, now that I have it laid out. Let me see. Let me just cut it underneath. So don't follow my steps. Um, cut it before you put it back on the on the gold. Okay, I think that's good. Sorry about that. So put the sticker on before you put it on the gold layer. That would be the, the lesson learned here, which I did the first time, but it's okay. So let's put this on with dimensionals. And this is just such a simple card, but I think the gold in it really makes it beautiful. And you can use whatever sentiment you want. I wanted something small because I didn't want to take away from the trees too much. Oops, this one. Okay. And then we want to put this together. Just a little bit of glue on here. Get it nice and straight. Okay, so on this one, I will be putting a dimensional on this side because I want it to sit right with the tree, which is up high. And then I'll just put a little dab of glue here. So this way it's not, you know, kind of lopsided. It hooks right in there. Okay, and let's put the inside in. I'll just put some dots. Simple, simple card. I don't know why I didn't use this before. It's been sitting in the package and I never even opened it up, and when I opened it up, I don't know, earlier this week, I was like, wow, that is gorgeous paper. So, one more thing is we will put on one of these gold dots, and I've been using this. I saw this trick. You just push it, and it doesn't, sometimes it, it separates the top from the bottom, so you end up with this little piece of gold um without the, the lid <laughs> i don't know how to explain it if you if it's happened to you you'll know what i'm talking about so using this with the putty on the end this is my picket tool really works out good where do i have the top to this here we go okay so card number one is complete and i think it's really beautiful and then the second card we'll do is this deer and again i used uh, garden green. This time I'll use old olive, which I think is what I should have used. And I'm using the stitch so sweetly, the second largest, to cut out the background for this. And I just measured um, what the stitching would be and cut this. I think it's three and a quarter by two and an eighth or something. But I'll have all of that in my um, on my blog, PSPaperCrafts.com. And this was very easy to make. So we're just going to get one of the deer. I like the guys with the, uh, the full rack here. And we'll just put him on. These stickers are so easy and so great. I 
Okay, and then we want one of the smaller trees. Just pick that up. You could do the lighter. There's two different shades, the light and the dark. And we'll put this right here. And I probably should have put my sentiment on first because we want to make sure the sentiment um, goes on straight. <laughs> Another mistake. So do as I say, not as I do, right? Let's just hope for the best here. So this is peace and happiness. I thought this was a good one for the deer. Phew. Okay. And let's do the inside as well. Let me see what I did on the inside. So I did thinking of you at Christmas with another deer, with a doe. Um, so let's get the inside layer here. And the thinking of you. We want to make sure we have our card horizontal. Did you ever do that where you uh, stamp it on the inside vertical and it's a horizontal card? I've done that. I'm sure some of you have as well. And let's see. We want... I want the deer facing this way, so I'll take this sticker. It's nice because it gives you the, the, the does and the bucks... I guess I did both um, the males, but it gives you a choice, although I'm not sure I'm crazy about them. I guess as a pair they would be cute, but I like the antlers. So this is the inside. Let's put this together. So just put some dots in the corners. And we'll put it on the old olive. I like it on the garden green. I don't think it really makes a difference. It's actually a little bit darker, um, the ink. But it doesn't really, I guess, match this. But it's okay. Greens are greens. They all go together in nature, right? And we'll just put this on here. So cute. Let's put this on. And I love this paper. I'm going to have to do something with this. I don't know what. But something about it. And there's some gold that looks similar to it in those smaller gold sheets. So there might be a nice combo of that that would be good to put together. Let's see. Let me pull this up a little bit. That looks good. So see, there's uh, this one. It's kind of the same pattern. So I'll have to think about that. And then, okay, another mistake. <laughs> I'm not really uh, with it. I'm going to do this one without the ribbon. Maybe I'll just put the bow on. So before you stick this down, wrap it with ribbon if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm a little bit off today, so bear with me. And we'll just do the dimensionals. Maybe this will be the boy card without the ribbon. And maybe we can put some, instead of the ribbon, we'll put some gold uh, gems. Let's see where we could do that. So just take the backs off. I just love this herd of deer. Where I am right now, it's hunting season. Or it was. I haven't seen deer since I've been here. And I always see them. So, do we want to do anything? Maybe we can put some gems on the tree. I kind of like it the way it is. I think I'm just going to leave it. So, bow or no bow? Girl and a guy. How's that? Okay, so two cards down, and then the last one is this one, and I just love all this paper. And if you wanted to do this a little different, you could put gold as a background layer here. You could put gold behind this to just dress it up. I was really trying to make it just very simple. So I have my sentiment, and that is from the um, For Unto Us. Let's see. 
For unto us hark the herald angels sing, and my inside is from here as well. May your heart be lifted with praise this Christmas for the wonderful gift of Jesus and the joy he brings to our lives. And I just think that is beautiful. So let's get our stamps for this. Move these away. And I'm using real red. And for this one, I'm using the layering circles, which I've got piles everywhere for each card. So the layering circles are similar to the layering ovals where you get the straight ones and the scalloped and it's all one set. So that's nice. Um, so let's get this stamped. And let's do the inside as well. So on the inside of this one, I did some stickers and then I did that sentiment. So let's get the inside sentiment. And then we could put everything together. Okay, and I think that's just beautiful. Let's put some stickers down. So I'm really loving these stickers. The candy canes are so cute. I definitely have to do the candy canes. But I did a small one coming up from the top. And these would be great for if you made tags as well. And then there's a great big one, this one, but I did the second smallest. And have that one going up this way. Okay, so let's put our card together. First, I want to put this down. Even this is cute with the trees. Whenever I put down designer series paper, I'm always like, oh. I don't want to ruin that other side, although I do like the gold foiling the best. So let's get this down. Nope. I've got ribbon. All right. I am going to get my silicone mat, and I'll be right back. Well, folks, I don't have my silicone mat, so we're going to do this without getting ink or uh, glue everywhere. So I'm just going to put this down. I should really look at what I'm doing before I do it. So we'll try to make sure. So if you had a silicone mat and you had glue on something, you can work with it and it won't stick to the mat. You could just put it down and lift it up and it won't be a problem. So let's get some ribbon. Um, I'm using this double, uh, what is it called? Double stitch satin ribbon. And I'll just cut a piece a little bit longer. Get my ribbon scissors. And then I'll use some scotch tape and put it around the back. See, it's not too bad. Okay. already sticking. <laughs> I love this. I do this a lot where you have maybe uh, an embossed top or um, some sort of designer series paper and then the stripes going down. There's something about that that I just love. So you'll see I do that a lot on my cards. All right, let's put a little bit more glue down because I think it's starting to dry. And then we can put it down on the card. Phew, good save. Now if I had put it down already, I could go underneath it and try to lift it up, but it's better if you don't have to do that. It's better to do it the right way. 
So let's put some glue on this and we'll get this backed up. Again, you can do this on gold. That would be really pretty. But I figured I had enough gold around and I'll add some gold gems. So let's tie a bow. We'll put that on, put our inside in, and put some gems on. So that's it, three cards, and I don't know, under 20 minutes maybe? Of course I had everything prepped, but still, with this uh, refill package, there's not much to prep, just cutting a little bit. All right. <clears throat> I like to just pull it down here, try to get them as even as I can. I know I'm probably fussing with it too much. Okay, let's put this down with some dimensionals. right here. Put a bow on with, where are they? This pile over here <laughs> are my glue dots. And just put one behind. You don't even have to roll it because it's not too tiny. And if you want, you could put dimensionals, or not dimensionals, glue dots down if you want to keep the, the ends down. But I'm okay with it like this. And now let's get a couple more gold. These gold glimmer dots. So we'll just push it. We'll put one here. The largest. And one of the small ones. And then I think I put the same size here. Okay, let's put the inside in. I love these berries. I think they're so pretty. And it's nice to have, if you don't have a stamp set that goes with this, to have the stickers. Makes it very easy to kind of coordinate the whole thing. You could even put them on the envelope if you wanted. Okie doke. Three cards. So here's the... The last set, the first set, and the second set, ribbon and no ribbon. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you don't have this, it's on sale right now during the closeout, so it's, I think, $20.80, and you get a lot, um, and the paper and the stickers, I mean, you could do so much with it. So thanks for joining, and um, take care. We'll talk to you soon.